tonight on Entertainment One. We send E1's own Mike HQ onto the set of Clarence and Clyde for an interview with the cast. I'll check out some of this summer's hottest movies in a summer movie preview. And Sammy J. Lewis invites us into his digs on E1 Digs. All this and more coming up. Good evening and welcome to tonight's episode of Entertainment One. We've got a great show for you. I'm Hussein Ahmed. And I'm Amanda Bean. And here's our show. We've all heard of that dynamic duo, but these two are anything but. E.O.N.'s own James Dormer sat down with Andrew Zorris and Matthew Head of the hit comedy show Super Awesome Fun Science Yeah. Don't touch it. Welcome back, nerds. My name is Dr. Carl Stevenson, PhD, MD, MA, BSc, DTF, and GTFO. I'm naturally a singer, obviously, um, but I'm looking to branch out um, the singing. The, the well has been pretty dry on that for a while, so I'm, I'm looking to branch out, and uh, I'm, I'm basically I'm taking anything that's offered to me at this point. So when Aiden came to me and said, here's a script, do you want to do it? I didn't have to read it or anything. I said, yes, I will, I will do this. Uh, yeah, I was originally a Broadway actor, uh, and uh, Aiden Mackin came to me with the, uh, the idea, and I, I accepted the script. And it was a brilliant script. Yeah, it was, went for it for there. It, it was obviously a concern, um, but what, what you notice, what he did, Aiden Mackin is a brilliant director, and what he did was he s surrounded us in white. Yeah. The background is white, the, the, the coat was white, with those white papers, and by doing that, it actually makes us look less pale in comparison. Yeah, uh, it was the first time in my life I could actually look on screen or in any recording and be like, wow, I look tan in comparison to that we, background. We stand out from the background. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's incredible. And I'm his sidekick partner in crime and best friend, Louis Johnson. Is that right, Dr. Steve Carlson? It's Carl Stevenson. Steve Carlson, everybody! I hate you so much. Um, well, I've... I've never really, since we've met, I, I've just generally disliked Andrew. Um, and this d really didn't help. He, he was in character all the time, 24-7. Yeah. Um, which, I, actually, it ended up helping because the, what you see on screen, the interaction between us is it's very, very real. real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just, I, he would come in, he would do his little skits, and, and I would just be completely Human. annoyed. And I would use that energy on screen. I think it, it, it turned out great that way. Uh, it, the, the energy between us is really, really good. Uh, just, just a sheer hatred by, uh, on Matt's part to me. Uh, I, I feel like that really helped our character relationship. We, uh, we really, really meshed because of that hatred. We haven't spoken since yeah. the show until till today, actually. Yeah. Matt, a, uh, a question for you now. You came across very anti-children. I hate you so much. But you're still here. <laughs> me. Don't touch me. Welcome back, nerds. And you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, have you ever heard the song, I'm going to kill you? Well, your mom's a prostitute. Stay tuned, or don't, I, I don't really care. And a bottle of JD, but that's just for me. Ah, it's good. Do you really hate kids? No, not at all. It's, it's actually very opposite. As an artist, I believe that children are the future. Um, they just, they have such a wonderful energy about them and just a, a brightness to them that I find very contagious. I, I'm, I just enjoy being around them, uh, spending time with them. Their energy is, is it's, I feel like just from contacting them, I can take their energy. I guess what I'm trying to say is I enjoy touching kids. I put a call and I was like, we need to do a dance number. And they during one of the commercials and they're like, oh, okay. And uh, all of a sudden I just kind of broke out into dance as, as it, the show was ending. and. Uh, it became it, one of the most classic yeah, scenes of the show. Yeah, it, it's, it's, just, it's just really taken off. Uh, it's become viral on YouTube and just, there's, there's lots of different things that it's, it's, kind of, it's been spoofed on Saturday Night Live. And He's gotten commercial stuff, deals yeah. just to do the dance. And yeah, it's, it's really, really taken off. It's uh, my signature now, so. Chance to speak with you in the future. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And now, we'll look into what's trending on Twitter. First trending topic tweets have been tweeting about the upcoming cast of the movie adaptation of The Thirst Games has been announced. Rebecca Brunet, best known as Janet from Clarence and Clyde, 
has snagged the role of leading lady Eberness Kat Dean. Brene has already seen her Twitter followers reach over 800,000 since the leak. Emily Aragona has been making a buzz on the Twitter feeds. The troubled celebrity has been arrested following her attempt to steal a keyboard from a big chain electronics retailer. She claims she needed the keyboard for her laptop whose built-in keyboard had been damaged. This following her previous scandal which resulted in a fractured hand when she attempted to start a fight with a lamppost. Superhero impersonator Zach Blanchet has been hospitalized following his attempt to help an old lady cross the street while in uniform. The lady who was startled by his appearance took a handgun out of her purse and shot Blanchet in the knee. Following the news, Blanchet's Twitter account exploded with tweets of sympathy. The famous director of photography, Justin Shroud, best known for his work on Biff Chapstick, has won an award for Best Garden in Ottawa. Stroud's garden won due to its wide variety of exotic plants, including Venus flytraps, dandelions, a palm tree, cannabis bushes, and a giant amorphophallus. Stroud, who has always had a green thumb with herbs, will take his gardening higher to the 2012 Provincial Championships. You can check out his giant amorphophallus in his Twit Picks. Now it's time for a quick commercial break. his home on E1 Digs. And I sit down with a blockbuster director for an in-studio interview. But first, here's the latest single, Paint It Black, by the Rolling DCR. 